What's up, Three Pound Fishing Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Three Pound Fishing. Check out that sunrise on Grenada, Mississippi right there. It don't get much better than that, folks. Just flat out doesn't. We're just now getting set up for a, uh, a long day on the water. We're gonna stay out here until the electronics batteries die, the trolling motor batteries die. We're standing out here. This is the last day of pre-fish. We can fish till four o'clock. And uh, you guys know much about these paddles? I don't know if I've ever talked about it or not. But paddles allow us to slow down when we are chasing the crappie. Now there's a lot of other devices out there nowadays that uh, crappie breaks, I think they're called, and other stuff like that, which who knows, I might go down that path too. But I can tell you right now, those are 200 bucks, they ain't that expensive. It's an add-on for your power poles, but it's pretty useful when you're chasing a crappie and you need to stop quickly. So check them out. They're just paddles for power poles, no big deal. So anyway, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna try to fish shallow all the way up to 10 feet. And uh, that's pretty much the plan today. As much ground as we can cover. Unfortunately, I did have a lithium battery issue. One of them failed, it just happens. It has nothing to do with anything. And they're amped outdoors is kicking butt and they're sending me a, uh, a brand new one. You gotta love their customer service. So they're actually shipping it here to Grenada. I can get that put on. So right now the trolley motor is actually running off of one 50 amp hour, 36 volt battery. So we're gonna go as long as that thing will last. And this video, you're gonna get to see what one battery powering the trolley motor, how long it can last. So, but because of that, I am gonna kind of troll a little slower. I'm not gonna be full on. So here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, guys, I want to show you what I'm seeing right now. Um, now, here's a good target right here, this guy right here. He is uh, sitting pretty still. He won't be the biggest fish, but I bet you he's about a pound and a half. See how nice he is? Now, I'm going to put you right here. Right there. How about that? And I'm going after that same fish. Now, I am going with a minnow right now. This seems they're, they're a lot more reactive. And that's a decent drop. We'll see if he comes after it. Nope. So he's out there at 16 feet and I ain't touching nothing on my trolling motor. That is a good drop. And he just decided to leave. Let's see if he comes back for that. Nope, he did not. So we're just gonna follow him a little bit. Now I'm fishing with my 10 footer right now. So I can still cast out to him. Which is the great thing about a 10 footer is I can vertical flip all that stuff we talk about. And he hit it. I kept it there, here he comes, and he hit it again. Good night. We still got our minnow on. I'm using the 10 footer, because I feel like I'm way more versatile with it. I can cast a lot better and be a little bit more uh, fluid with, I don't know how else to explain it, but I have a choice, I feel like. Um, and then I've got my, this is the, uh, Optimized sniping braid. We have a fish here just sitting here. I'm trying to get his attention. But he, that should do it. Here he comes. And there he is. I took it out of my freaking hand. He needed it right on his nose. <laughs> he needed it right on his nose. And again, he. this one's not the same fish we were looking at, but that is a solid fish. It is 7.40 in the morning and I already have five fish in the boat. I mean, that's, that's still a pound and a third, 1.3 type scenario. But that's what we're doing here at Grenada. We're just kind of going really slow. Again, I have a trolling motor issue with the battery. It's not a trolling motor issue, it's just a battery that died. So I'm working off of a one battery. So I'm going extremely slow, which is actually, you know, my buddy said, you know, make, you know, lemonade out of lemons. I said, maybe it'll teach you to fish, fish slower. And I'm definitely fishing slower. And, um, it's giving me a lot of time to see these fish. I 
and that's a much bigger fish than that first one. This is a good fish. Still probably won't hit the two pound barrier, but that is a pig. That is a pig. You gotta love it, folks. I think we found a lot of fun. So this is what we're looking at right here. And uh, there's not much, I'm telling you. You go slow. Trolling motor issues really helping me out, I think. And you're just, obviously you can see that guy right there. That's all you could do. We just flipped a two pounder in with Optimize. Check it out at snipingbraid.com. That's crazy. That is a monster fish. Ozark rods, 10 footer. We bleed now. So kind of a midday update. Um, I've been around a lot of different spots. Um, I've kind of come back to my original spot, uh, but way off to the a side of it. So trying to just create a bigger area for me to be able to work the tournament. I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of boats in here, so I'd like to have areas that are still within this area that I can go to and perhaps get away from spooky fish or have a, but um, without a doubt, this area here that I'm in is, uh, the fish aren't as spooky. I mean, they will... They'll sit around and they'll be like footballs. Like I like them, not running and running and all that good stuff. This is just a neater fish, but I just got the GoPro on. This is our second two pounder of the day. Look at that. Bring and drag it's so heavy. But we're gonna flip it in because we just that's how we're gonna roll. Oh that is what I'm talking about. Second two pounder of the day. Let's put that on the scale. Let's put that on the scale. One ninety six. One ninety six. That is a beautiful fish. Bam! All right, like I always do, I take you to PTG when I'm here in Grenada, and we're gonna get that battery put right on, but. There she is, there's sickness. Sickness. We're gonna put that battery right there, in there. Introduce you to Brandon and uh, the owners of PTG so you guys can get comfortable with them and come here anytime you're here. So let's get to work. All right, battery's installed. I just have to wire it up now, right there. Waiting for Brandon, but what I think I'll do is uh, quickly introduce you to the owners and then we'll finish up this project. Now again, Amped Outdoors did an awesome job. I called, told them what had happened. They walked me through the process of checking the battery and literally two days later, I've got a brand new battery sitting here solving the problem. So Amped Outdoors, I'll put their information here on the screen. You check them out now, I'll tell you. So here's a here's a look at their uh, their place. They got, there's your three pound fishing, everything you'd want right there. And, uh, but they've got everything. Hey, wrong. And we've got the, the lovely Patsy, she is the owner. Hi guys, y'all come by and see us. Yeah, so great place. You can get everything you need at Grenada. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. They're come, come, come check them out, they're fun. Let's go, I'll introduce you to Ron now, come on. <laughs> okay, so this is Ron, the owner of PTG. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a story, I guess Ron just sold his boat before this tournament. So are you gonna get the fish the tournament? No. Yeah, so he just sold, so everything Ron has is for sale basically. That's right. <laughs> but check out this rig, folks. It doesn't get much better than this. That's an Apex screen, 19 inch. He's got both the, the Garmin and the Hummingbird live sonar. Check out that setup, guys. You can't beat that. Good Lord. 
some lucky guy is going to get it and get to fish the tournament with it and uh get her done you check them out all right let's go put this battery together you got all this stuff man you got all the bells and whistles on this thing all right folks we're gonna end it right there brandon's here that's the son of patsy and ron so now you've met the whole upchurch family here at ptg but batteries work fine amped outdoors hooked me up so did ptg come on over here say hi to brandon patsy and ron great people and uh you gotta come fish grenada everybody's gotta do that thanks guys